I wanted to make a video about calories in, calories out versus intuitive eating just based on something that happened to me the other day and something that I started thinking about. And uh, I've been having issues sleeping lately and I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's because of this. And I've been eating a lot of squash lately. Now, I haven't been finding a lot of kombucha squash, which is like the one that I really like to go to lately. Uh, all the farmers markets and vendors around here, for whatever reason, don't have a ton of them. And the ones that they do have, have had a lot of wax on them, which I don't really like. So I've been eating a lot of acorn squash. I think the other one's called like graffiti or something. I forget what the other one's called. Uh, and then just like the traditional or not the traditional, but there's like an orange one with a bunch of specks on it. There's a white one with a bunch of specks on it. There's all, all different kinds, but I think they're basically acorn squash. I've been eating a lot of those lately. And I think I figured something out as I was laying there, like hungry as hungry gets last night, trying to fall asleep. I'm like, there's something off with this. Like, and I, and another thing is I've actually been trying to track my calories lately. I made a whole video about all this, all this the other day. It will not upload to YouTube no matter what I do, no matter, absolutely no matter what I do, it will not upload at all. So I guess it just wasn't meant to be seen. It's driving me nuts. I've tried four times now, four, not eight, four times now. It won't do it. And I made a video about kind of like tracking calories and trying to figure things out. Uh, it drives me nuts as well that I, I, I've, I've uh, struggled a little bit. I, I hit this wall in like the 260, 250 range. And everybody's like, well, you're eating too much. I barely eat. And I made a video about this. I keep making videos about this. I don't know if you can't like watch it, didn't watch it, don't comprehend what I'm saying or what, but, and I figured it out. So I wanted to talk about calories in, calories out versus intuitive eating, but I really wanted to talk about this as well. And I think one of the biggest things that I run into is I never, like when I was in the post office, generally I was around 240 pounds somewhere in that. And since I've been out of the post office because of my ankle replacement, they wouldn't let me black back, blah, blah, blah. Can't really work a normal job. Anyway, I don't have a set schedule. I started doing my own thing. I started selling eBay. I started doing YouTube. I started selling art. I started working for art, like different uh, t-shirt companies, making t-shirt designs and just doing a bunch of different odd jobs. I'm basically a 1099 now. Like I don't, I've, I haven't had a W2 in like six years. I haven't actually set an alarm clock in like six years. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, so because of this though, my schedule is crazy. Like back in my eBay days, I used, and I'm going to get to the point of this video at some point in this video, but like I would go to, I would go to thrift stores or the garage sales and I would be doing that for four five, six, seven, eight hours. And I would, I wouldn't bring anything with me to eat. I might bring sugar water or something like that. And then I would get home and I'd have to unload the stuff. And I'm like, well, I've got this stuff. I really want, I don't want it sitting here. So then I'd start taking pictures. And before I knew it, it would be like eight, 10 hours before I had to eat or since I had eaten. And I kind of have struggled with this, uh, since I've been, I guess, self-employed 1099. And I think that has a lot to do with why I was pretty effortlessly 240 pounds uh, when I was working at the post office. Yeah, they, yeah, like it was more physical kind of. I mean, eBay is a pretty physical job. Uh, what I do now is is fairly physical. And I've been walking like a, a lunatic. Like I walked like 75 minutes or like 90 minutes like every day this week so far. And I bounce on a trampoline for like 35 minutes a day. I'm probably actually in such a calorie deficit that it's almost ridiculous. And that gets, to, and you know, and so this, this cycle continues and continues and you stay in this deficit. Everybody talks about this deficit and I'm not in agreement with some of the other people in this genre. I do actually think the calories in calories out does play a role at some point, but you have to get to that point when you're leptin and ghrelin and everything is, is, is fine. Uh, like the strong sisters that Kathleen Stewart, she talked about this, like, yeah, calories in calories out is going to matter at some point in time. 
depending on your day, what you do, who you are, how much you, you expend, you know, during your day to day, how, you know, how even you're walking, like recently I've realized that I've walked completely wrong my entire life. That was another thing I talked about in that video. And when I walk correctly, everything like there's no hardly any pain anymore but i can tell that every muscle in my body is working unlike it used to and so it's definitely burning more calories man this thing's on a <laughs> this thing's a little crooked um so this all being said that my past hit my my history with my dad does it my mother does it my sister we all do it like when we're doing something we just don't eat Calories in, calories out. So I started tracking my calories to try to like get myself to actually eat. And it's, so I did it this entire week and I've been in, in a negative this entire week, no matter how much I seem to cram down my throat. So, and it's probably because I've been walking, like I, I'm like a newborn, like I've never walked before. Like I, this is the first time I've ever walked, you know, I'm like, it's like a new toy, like Christmas, you know, like I've this, this toy that I just received that's not in pain when I go walk. Imagine that. So I've been walking like crazy, like, oh my, you know, like this is crazy. Like I can actually be a human being, you know. And I've been trying to keep track of the calories because I don't, I know I'm not eating enough, which is why I'm not sleeping. I haven't slept well in like three weeks. So I started tracking my calories because when I don't eat enough, I don't sleep at all. And that got me to thinking, the point of this video, how many, I don't know how many minutes we're into this video. The point of this video is intuitive eating versus calories in, calories out. I've said that many times. When I have eaten these um, squash, some of them taste great. Some of them have like a nice sugary, bready, dense consistency. Others feel like they were a sponge taken out of dirty bath water. And I'm thinking, and, and I didn't really think anything of it. One was so bad the other day, I just threw it out. I, I'm like, I can't even eat this. They're homegrown. They're farmer's market. I know they got people that grow them. All fine and dandy. And then I th uh, started thinking like potatoes, for example. Potatoes are a pretty uh, stable starch. Now, there's one, there's some discrepancies with potatoes because potatoes, depending on how they're stored during the winter or after they come out of the ground, at how cold they're stored or how warm they're stored is how much sugar potatoes actually have in them. Uh, rice, I wouldn't be surprised at all if it's something similar with rice. But these squash, how do you know? How do you, how do you know? They're not going to ripen anymore. They're not going to get any better. And I think this is causing some issues. So if you're somebody who's in this calories in, calories out, and if you're in a deficit for too long, which is what the Minnesota Starvation Project showed, which is what the Strong Sisters and this Kathleen Stewart showed, your body is going to get to a point where it is dysfunctional in almost every area. Nothing works right. None of your micronutrients are correct. None of your macronutrients are correct. Everything's off. And once you eat enough, all of your micronutrients kind of catch up. And I'm going to talk about that in another video. If you are eating a lot of fruit, if you are eating a lot of local grown fruit, maybe you're not going to have as much issue. But if you're eating like, say, oranges, oranges for us, for, you know, in America come from largely Florida and California, the grapefruit and a couple other things come out of Texas. The grapefruit from Texas are phenomenal, but. They're all picked at a shippable, malleable state, right? You know, like the more bitter something is, it, the harder the fruit is, the harder anything is, the more bitter it is, the easier it ships. So they pick it when it's bitter and hope, you know, like, and like oranges, I don't, I don't think they ripen anymore, but bananas do. There's some fruits that don't ripen anymore. And so if you're trying to track calories and you have these fruits and everything that aren't ripe and they don't have a lot of sugar in them, and this is why a lot of these people are adding sugar into it, and even that snake diet guy's adding sugar to his fruit, how can you track calories efficiently? Like if when I go back, I went back at yesterday's, I was 450 calories short 
of my needed for the day. How long have I been doing that? And how long has this been going on with the fruit? Because when I'm not sleeping, I'm not eating enough. I guarantee when I eat enough, I pass out. I don't even remember. I don't even remember going to bed, basically. And I've worked a lot today. I work a lot every day. And I started walking like it's new to me. I'm burning a lot of calories. So I have to make up for that. But if I'm counting on something that I don't actually know how many calories is there, how can I count that? This is where the potato thing works really well. This is where the rice thing works really well. But if you're like a fruit person or if you're like technically squash is a fruit, how do you know? And this is where intuitive eating might come into hand. But if you're full from the squash that had almost no calories in it, and then you go to lay down and your body's like, dude, we just didn't get enough calories today, man. You got it. Like, we need something. You know, we're just, we're going to raise that cortisol. We're going to keep you up until you go add more into the tank. And then I go come down and add more into the tank. And before I know it, it's 3.30 in the morning. And I'm like, man, I can't even sleep. And then I finally fall asleep and I wake up at 10.30 11 o'clock in the morning, which I can do because I work for myself and I don't have to set an alarm clock. And if a lot of people are in this cycle and they do have to set the alarm clock because I'm, I realized I'm blessed. Uh, then they're drinking coffee and they're in a further deficit and further deficit. Now, I'm not saying everybody because a lot of people eat like the stuff I see people eat. But then this reminds me too. Uh, I was I was I was going around photographing uh, just random stuff at at the the park the other day, and I saw this girl. She was cute, and I'm like, yeah, I want to photograph you, you know, like, and and she's like, you know, she's like, nah, nah, I don't like taking photographs. I'm like, come on, the light's hitting you great. I, this is ridiculous. She's like, okay, okay. So I'm photographing her. She wanted to see him. She's standing next to me. The heat pouring off this girl was insane. I've never felt anything like it. She was rail thin, rail thin heat just pouring off this girl. And I'm like, this is how we're supposed to operate. Like if you are operating correctly, you will be pouring heat off your body. Like this woman, cause she had just gotten done eating a burrito from like huge burrito from Chipotle <laughs> pouring. I mean, I'm, I mean, she was standing close, but I, I, I the heat coming off this girl, I'm sweating now cause there's a light here, but like I started sweating. There was so much heat pouring off this girl. That is the state that you want to get yourself to. When you eat, you are, you're like a furnace. You can't store fat when you're this, uh, your furnace. And that's another thing I wanted to talk about micronutrients uh, in a little later. Cause I did start adding a lot of micronutrients into the diet and Lo and behold, my temperature when I wake up has gone up by 0.4 degrees or 0.5 degrees in less than a month. Might not sound like a lot, but that is a lot. So it, it, again, back to intuitive eating. You're intuitively going to know that you need more when you're intuitively eating, but if you're counting calories and you're expecting those calories to be in what you're eating, and if they're not, then you're 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 going to be in a calorie deficit like crazy and you're going to start storing extra water i can tell when i haven't eaten enough because i start storing water weight everywhere and when i eat enough <sighs> massive floodgate and i just got done eating like an entire potato farm entire potato farm so i am in this beaming light here uh it's got me sweating like crazy so i'm probably retaining water pretty bad right now but I had to make this video <clears throat> and lately it's been so many kids around here making so much noise that I wanted to make it at night not complaining I don't know I don't know I'm just trying to come up to some conclusions you know I've talked to some other fat people who are in the four, were in the 400 pound club a lot of us this is not a, a linear path at all those of you who are, you know, like losing 40, 50, 60, 70 pounds, I mean, that's awesome. Congratulations. But there's a different something that happens when your body gets to 400, 500, 600 pounds. I don't know what that is. Everybody wants to call it an excuse, but everybody that calls it an excuse is the person that had to lose like 40 pounds. So I just, I don't want to, I don't want to hear it. If you've only had to lose like 40, 50 pounds, which I, granted is a lot of weight, 
and you never got to that 400 pound club, 500 pound club, there's just something different that happens to you. <clears throat> there's something different that happens to you. Um, so anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, my combination of just running basically on cortisol all day and then trying to cram down enough at night, it just keeps continuing. So that's why I started actually tracking calories to try to get to a point where I'm not doing that. But if I'm only eating fruits, actually, I mean, technically all I ate this week basically was fruit because I bought a ton of squash because this, the one farmer's market that I really like going to today was their, you know, Halloween was their last day of the year. They, you know, they might be there tomorrow, but then that's going to be it. And so I'm, I bought as much as I could, but some of them taste like ass, like not good ass. And then like some of them, uh, you know, are great. So that might be something, or it's just another excuse is why I'm fat. I have no idea, but something's driving me nuts. Like I can't stand when I can't sleep. It drives me nuts. Like I'll eventually sleep and I sleep eight hours. Cause I, again, I work for myself. I'm lucky, but, um, if other people are going through this, right. If you actually have a, you, you know, you gotta go clock in or whatever, or have like zoom calls all day. Oh, couldn't do it, but that might be an issue for you as well. I don't know. Or again, maybe it's just uh, another excuse in the fat person excuse book. But I have been enjoying walking and not being in pain. Like, I can't even tell you. Ask anybody. Well, everybody's gone. <laughs> this year's been a mass exodus. But people who I used to know, um, they would tell you that... I would never go for a walk. I for any reason whatsoever because I was in so much pain. Just I like walk just like getting my shoes on to go for the walk. I was already in in pain. And then I'd go for a walk and the pain would just keep stacking. So that cortisol on top of the cortisol of not eating enough and all that kind of stuff, it's it's a long it's a long haul. Maybe not everybody's on that haul. But um, I am. And that's the video. This light is so hot. It is ridiculous. I don't know how people in Hollywood do it. It's, I've only got this thing on 17% too. Anyway, that is some of my thoughts. Uh, just, I mean, the sleep lately has just been comically bad. Comically bad. I mean, I have things on my mind too, but like, it's getting a little ridiculous. Anyway, uh, comments, questions down below, like, subscribe. I'm sure I'll get the people telling me that I'm eating too much because that's what they do. But uh, anyway, food literally for thought. Talk to you in the next one. Uh, like, subscribe. I think I already said that. See you in the next one. Peace. Um, if you think the video will help anybody, share it, and that's it.